Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an optional second floor layer to your pack raft for increased strength. Even if you've chosen not to add one, keep watching because I'll also show you how to reinforce the tube to floor joints around the inside of the pack raft. First, measure 6 centimeters in from the 9 corners of the floor piece, in line with the dots that are already there, and make new marks. Then cut the fabric between the new marks and the corners. These cuts will allow the fabric to fold up and under the pack raft's tubes where the tubes are bonded to the first floor layer. Note that there is no need to make a cut at the center mark at the rear of the floor. Now you can lay the second floor piece over the first with their TPU sides touching. Smooth out the wrinkles and make sure all the corners are positioned properly. Instead of using your heat sealing iron to bond this large area, use your household iron for better and faster results. Start by setting the temperatures so it is just hot enough to create a weak bond between the layers that you can peel apart without damaging the TPU. That way you can make sure the fabric is aligned correctly and wrinkle free before increasing the temperature for a permanent bond. Thanks to Luke in Australia for this great tip. Once the floor layers are bonded together, there will still be excess fabric around the edges. These areas can be bonded to the tubes to increase the strength of the tube to floor bond. Where these flaps overlap the seam fabric in the corners of the pack raft, you can cut the excess floor fabric away or bond them together with glue. If you're not installing a second floor layer, I recommend that you still reinforce the tube to floor joint by bonding thin strips of fabric across the floor tube joints. Cut a strip of fabric 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch wide and the same length as the joint you're reinforcing. Fold the strip into the joint and then use the edge of your heat sealing iron to tack it in place along the length of the seam. Then you can either fold the fabric back and seal the entire width of the piece, or fold it over onto itself and heat seal the strip both from the inside of the tube and through the bottom of the floor, whichever is easier. That's all for this step. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.